Hello YouTube, firstly, this is my bolt action sniper. It's good. Secondly, this video is going to have to be in two parts. The camera doesn't have enough memory, so, yeah. Firstly, uh, incredibly powerful shoots at well over 30 feet. But I don't really use it outside, but I use it more or less inside targets, walls and stuff like that. Uh, you may have noticed it does actually have a real scope on there. You don't have to have that. I've just got that. Yeah, it is a metal scope. It is a, a rifle scope on there. I've, I've secured it with these little things so you can actually adjust the elevation and stuff like that so you can get it just right. It's got a bipod, incredibly accurate. It does have a trigger just there. That was just a simple trigger but I haven't actually done that yet. Uh, it is bolt action, as I've already said, which makes it very, very powerful. It's actually here, so you don't actually have to worry about pulling it back, getting it in your face or anything like that. You just rest your head on there. Look down the scope easily and shoot it. It's strong, sturdy. You can even chuck it around a bit. Incredibly strong, incredibly sturdy. It will not break at all. I've reinforced it with rods and everything. Right, I'm going to go into the second part now. Hello again, YouTube, and welcome to my uh, second part of the bolt action sniper. Right, we'll get straight back onto it. This gun can be used by, by actually anyone. It's around about two, two and a half feet long, so yeah, it's good. It's strong, everything like that. What I've actually done to this gun is I've actually reinforced the butt there, the handle, because so what you have to do is you hold it in between there like that. Obviously I can't get good with it there, but I'll show you later on, because later on I will be doing a uh, firing test and add some pictures at the end of the video. If you want to try and make some parts or even try and make the gun yourself, I'll probably add about 20 odd pictures if you want, or basically every single part of the gun if you want to try and make that. Firstly when I built the gun, the barrel was, it was pretty rubbish, so I actually changed it for all of the, these grey connectors there, which makes it uh, much better, much more accurate, much more uh, powerful. I haven't actually had any rubber band snap on it yet, they just uh, hook onto here with these at the end of these red things. The bipod I'm probably gonna change that soon, it's not very good. Right. It's nearing to the end of the video now. I said it's very much making this gun. Right, I will now include a firing test and some pictures. If you want me to actually make the gun in, if you want me to give you the instructions, leave a comment and subscribe. Hello YouTube, right now I'm doing the uh, firing test with the bolt action sniper. As you can see this is actually how you actually hold the gun and now I shall do it. This shall also be in two parts, one pretty close range just now, and one long range, probably 10-15 feet away, so. This is fire test number one, this is just how a normal yellow piece in there. Not really full power bands, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll try. There we go. Oh, this is about three layers of paper, card, card, and you can actually see what it, what it basically just did. Straight through it, you can see a couple of shots from earlier. Again, I suggest making this gun a lot. I suggest making it so badly. Make it, please. It's so good. You will enjoy it probably just as much as I do. It's good in combat, good for just targeting. And uh, now on to the next part, which is a long range test. Just simply me shooting and yeah. Hello YouTube, this is me again. This is the second part of the firing test. I would say around about 20 feet away into my sister's bedroom. You'll be able to actually hear and see how powerful this gun is. Right, here we go. That, uh, I don't think that actually, that actually went through, but anyway, we'll, uh, I'll show you that, oh, yeah, I can see the damage easily from here. Right, that's what it actually did, and in case that doesn't really look like much, it very, very nearly went through there. So basically, even from all the way back there, you can actually see how uh, powerful it was. I'd say it's around about 20 feet away, even here how powerful that was. So yeah, I'll include some pictures now on the next part. Try and build it if you can. If you want instructions, comment, subscribe, etc. And I will provide them. Thank you for watching and uh, I really do hope you build it. Thank you.